I've been meaning to do this topic for quite a while and now that I'm noticing a lot of my web hosting customers getting notifications about their plans using too much space, I think not, now may be the time to address this topic. Uh, when you initially install .NET Nuke, the default install has you logging every event that ever happens into the database. Uh, the problem with this is that first, you don't need to log every event and second, it never deletes them. So. Your site continues to consume more and more database space. Your uh, database continues to grow. You run out of space. You get notifications from my web hosting plans telling you uh, you're running out of space when this uh, could all be prevented. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you one other location where uh, you can adjust some settings and or delete some space uh, that's being used from .NET Nuke. So this is all about optimizing the size of your .NET Nuke installation. Uh, you'll notice that I've already got the .NET Nuke window uh, set up here so that I'm, I'm logged in. I'm using my development environment uh, to show you this. And uh, you know, it's kind of whacked out here. But we're going to go over here into the Admin menu option and pull down the menu and look at the Event Viewer. And this is where uh, all your changes are going to take place. Now, you need to log in as host to make these changes, uh, otherwise uh, it's not going to show you uh, everything that I want to show you here. So here you'll see that I'm, I'm logging every event, and this, since this is my uh, development environment, you're going to see a, a lot of events there. We're going to go in here to Edit Log Settings, and you'll see uh, this is the default install. Everything is set up to log the events. Now, application start. Do you really need to know every time the application starts? Um, the way I've got it set up right now, I've got it logging the last 10 entries. And really for my development environment, I probably get away with not logging anything. I could say log the last one entry, or I could just say don't enable logging. And come down here and do the update. Same thing for application end. Don't really need that. Let's turn that off. Scheduler exceptions, you might want to have those, but do you really need all of them? Um, so I've got this one set up to log the last 100 entries. And the other thing that you can do with all these notifications that you've probably seen that I've skipped over a couple times here, is you can set it up to email you a notification when the error happens. So um, maybe you want to keep, you know, in this case, the last two entries for the scheduler and then set it up to send an email to you when that event occurs. Um, we're going to leave that unchecked because it's in my development environment and I really don't need that. So that's going to help you out right there, save a lot of space. Um, you can also come down, scroll down to the bottom and hit this clear log and clear log will delete all the log events out of your database. So you can see I have quite a few uh, already in here and if I cleared that uh, it would delete all of these uh, from the system and believe me that takes up uh, a ton of space in your .NET Nuke installation so uh, this would save you quite a bit of space. Now the other thing that you can do and a lot of people don't really realize that this is true either is under the admin pages actually I'm sorry under admin recycle bin as you add and remove pages, it doesn't really delete those pages from the system. What it does is it puts them over here in the recycle bin. Now, this is pretty handy because if you delete a module and then realize later, oh, that's not the module I wanted to delete, you can come back in here and pick the module, pick the page you want to restore it to, hit the restore button up here, and it will uh, put that module back on the page that you selected. Um, but if you've got a lot of stuff in here, maybe you just want to, you know, you're done, you know the site's the way you want it, you hit the empty recycle bin here. And that removes those pages completely from the system, it deletes the records that are associated with them from the database, and your size uh, shrinks up. So hopefully those two tips will allow you to get uh, more space out of your database and uh, you'll be a little bit happier with your .NET Nuke installation.